Hey everybody, this is John from Distress Mullet, and I had the opportunity to sit down with Matt Leonard at his restaurant Spoon Fed here in Wilmington and interview him about the Detroit Awabi race uh, yesterday. Unfortunately, this is going to, be, going to be one of the first years I'm going to miss because I was in a car accident last week. I'm doing fine, um, but I'm not able to paddle for a little while so uh, or travel, so I've got a little bit of uh, some uh, therapy to go through, but I'll be good to Good to go and good as new soon. I hope everybody going to Detroit has a really good time. This is one of my favorite races. Paddling around in Belle Island is amazing. The food, the music. It's a real festival atmosphere, so you've got a full day. Like, Don't just pack for the race. Pack for the whole day. And um, uh, and it's just amazing. I, I really I love Detroit. It's really come back strong in the pe past number of years. And there's so many places to eat and, and um, enjoy walking around the town. So anyway, um, here's the interview with Matt. And I... Uh, appreciate your support for this race and those who uh, support the mullet. Hey guys, Matt Leonard, uh, race director for Owabi Detroit. I'm here with Winnie. We're getting ready to head up to uh, up to Detroit for this year's race. Getting really excited. Um, and just had a look at the weather. Preliminary look is uh, is fantastic. We got 82 and sunny, so it looks like we're going to have phenomenal conditions. Um, one reminder for racers: uh, please do bring a weed fin. There's um, not thick weeds, but there are always some floating weeds on the course, so you're definitely going to be uh, happy to have a weed fin. Make sure you don't uh, handicap yourself that way. Um, all the activities we have lined up are super, super exciting this year. We have Carl Dennison's Tiny Universe as our headline band. There's three bands playing throughout the afternoon. Uh, we're going to have the um, award ceremony on the main stage at 1 o'clock, and then following that, we're gonna have three great bands playing, but Carl Dennison's Tiny Universe is like a James Brown funk style band that is just phenomenal. They put on an incredible show. So you wanna stick around for that. Of course, all the best food trucks in Detroit are gonna be there. Um, we've got some great clinics and activities going on. Um, first and foremost, Larry Kane of Paddle Monster will of course be doing performance clinics. He still had a couple spaces left on Friday. It's almost sold out, but if you wanna get in on that, if you can make it to town on Friday, um, that in more intensive clinic is just an incredible way to tune up your paddle stroke. Um, everybody that's taken it has, you know, raved about about how much their their paddling improves when they go through that clinic. And then if you don't uh, aren't able to get there Friday on Saturday, he'll be doing uh, shorter clinics, um, more like an hour, and a quick, you know, kind of tune up that you can take advantage of on Saturday. In addition to that, we've got hydrofoil clinics, which is super awesome. I know everybody's been seeing all the downwind runs and everything people are doing on hydrofoils. Um, so we have Great Lake Surf that'll be teaching hydrofoiling behind a boat. So this is by far the safest, best way to get on a hydrofoil. If you've been thinking about trying it, absolutely sign up for one of uh, Great Lake Surf's hydrofoil clinics. It's a 45 minute clinic and It'll get you started, get you, you'll learn all about the foils, about the equipment, so that you can go out and make the right purchasing um, choice and get into the sport. Uh, we've also got SUP yoga, SUP and kayak demos through Summit Sports Paddlerama. So it's going to be an incredible day. All the, all the activities and food trucks and bands are really make it one of the most incredible SUP events I've been to anywhere. So. Hope you guys can come out and see us. Um, feel free to hit me up on Facebook if you have any questions or about logistics or anything. And uh, thanks to John and the Mullet for supporting and uh, getting the word out. So hope to see everybody there. Thanks.